enjoy selling charisma because he leads the type of daughter that I'm interested in. Uh, right now, Sovereign, I think, is my favorite sire because of the powerful daughters he leaves. Uh, probably charisma, uh, power, Atlanta coming up here, and uh, Pure Bowl. Pure Bowls would be Laramie. Oh, uh, sold uh, a lot of the young sire Acapulco when he was still on test. People like the numbers for confirmation, but also the milk. And also sold the new S shot bowl. And now I think I'll see him sell more that he's got the gentleman for behind him. Bowls I prefer the to use right now are mostly Charisma, Sovereign, and as test sires. I guess what I like most about Foundation sires is they're not afraid to be a little different, not afraid to think outside the box. And uh, that kind of foresight and uh, progress has, has really paid off for them. So. This is quite a spring year in class. They just kept, kept coming in, one after the other, one after the other. And then I seen this effort, she sent chills down my spine. This is my kind right here. She's square cut, she's dark, she's stylish, she's wide, she's over the ribs, she travels on a great set of feet and legs. This effort's just balance and style and strength to the team. She's got that dairy strength that you love to see in a heifer. She just has everything. She places over the second heifer. She outmasses her in her rib, both fore, rear, depth through her midsection. Has more natural spring to her ribs. She's a little wider through her pits today. She just out overwhelms the heifer in second. But taking nothing away from the heifer in second, she more closely follows the type and kind of my first place heifer. Um, today, she, uh, over the third heifer, she's just so much longer in her whole, whole total frame. She's wider through her chest, wider through her pins, and I definitely prefer the way she travels out on her hind feet and legs. She's straighter uh, from the side, a little more fluent in her movement as the third heifer's a little set in her legs today for me. The third heifer, a beautiful dairy, deep open rib heifer, but a heifer you just like the wider all the way through. A May heifer, she easily places over the heifer coming out next, and her drape to her rib, her style, her balance her femininity all the way through, then a heifer and fourth. The heifer and fourth really fits the mold nice with the first three heifers today. She just has so much more quality, silkier about her hide than the heifer uh, coming out in fifth. She's wider through that pin region, neither through that tail setting. The heifer in fifth over the heifer in sixth today. She just carries her uh, loin a lot nicer today, a lot more leveler. Uh, I just prefer the way she travels out with more freedom and ease in her movement. Her hind legs, she's square tracking from the rear. Then the heifer in six. The heifer in six, a beautiful long body, a uh, wide pin heifer, but I like to change her on her hind feet and legs. She's just roaching a little bit too much for me today, but she excels over the next, next heifer in her overall length and with the pins.